I spoke with Council of Foreign Relations Advisor and former House Speaker Jose de Venecia about this new development. This is withdrawing from the ICC is a matter of great national interest, so the President's decision should also reflect that of the nations. Take a listen. Ideally, uh, it is the President of the Philippines that makes and conducts foreign policy. With regards to treaties signed by the executive department or signed by the president of the Philippines, this needs concurrence and ratification by the Senate. Philippine Senate. Uh, in this particular instance, uh, it would be good for the nation and for the people if the decision taken by the President of the Philippines is also supported by the uh, Senate of the Philippines being the uh, treaty ratifying arm of the Philippine government and of the Filipino people. The President has also said, Malacanang has always also said that one of its main reasons for pulling out is they are saying uh, there was no publication of the, the of the notice of the of the passage of the of the bill, um, and and therefore it was never officially published in the official gazette, and therefore on that technicality we were never under the Rome Statute, mm -hmm. never under the ICC. Uh, on the other hand, uh, lawyers have pointed out that the the uh, that the principle or the doctrine of transformation, they said, uh, makes it clear that we don't need publication. Mm -hmm. the, the ratification by the Senate is enough to give this if the, the treaty effect of law. Mm -hmm. What is your take on that, sir? Well, you know, the Philippine law, international law, is very clear that uh, the withdrawal of the Philippines from this international agreement shall take effect one year after the withdrawal, the announcement of the withdrawal. So that is very clear. That, that cannot be negotiated further or debated. But let me, as a Filipino citizen, with having some experience in international relations, I think my advice to all parties concerned, to all parties concerned, is that The Philippines is facing a very grave drug crisis. The Filipino people, especially the youth, are victims of opium, illicit drugs proliferation. That is the, that is the summary of all of this. Now, uh, President Duterte is taking action. The international community should support President Action's decisive campaign against the drug syndicates. The Filipino people should support the movement against the drug syndicates. On the other hand, excesses by the Philippine government, if any, should not also be tolerated. Mm. The method should be within the ambit of the law, mm. should be within uh, reasonable processes. Okay. It one, cannot be extreme. Okay, one, one last question then, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the, the President has said that the, the IC, their reason for withdrawing is that the ICC and the ICC prosecutors have prejudged the President. But the ICC is saying that Look, it's not even an investigation. We are still in what we call the preliminary examination. Just mm. trying to look at the complaint because there was a complaint. We will look at it. It's just an examination. I think the is prejudgment, it, the, the prejudgment that this president speaks of, is the excessive international and domestic propaganda. It is the excessive, outlandish international propaganda against the Philippine government and against the president, which affects severely the image of the Philippines and the Filipino people in the international community. So, in a very real sense, the president is correct. Mm. But on the other hand, we must do something mm. because 
uh, our people are suffering, our youth are suffering, and so there has to be a happy compromise.